people who blame like you know civilization for let's say climate change you know global warming um i don't know tsunamis um you know nuclear meltdown radiation all those kinds of stuff um i think they kind of miss the idea that you are much more likely to be um injured or killed by, by an agent of the state than you are by radiation or tsunami <laughs> technology itself is is amoral right it's neutral sure. it's not evil or it's not good right it's just a tool used by people to improve their lives or you know to hurt people <laughs> to like drones like computers like cars sure. like guns Firearms, right so th yeah. these are all just tools right and and uh, you know so and same thing with money too <laughs> a lot of people vilify money um, yeah, so absolutely. So yeah, so really, the um, I mean, the the whole thing hinges upon um, what are we going to use it for, right? So it's not like I don't see, I don't foresee a Terminator two, you know, you know, machines take over the world and destroy humanity type of thing. Um, but I, I, I definitely, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm hopeful for the future. I think things are getting better. You know, crime is going down. Um, um, you know, m infant mortality is is decreasing, and long jet and more people are living longer lives, healthier lives. Uh, we're safer, you know, than sure. and, and we're more comfortable. We live in more luxury than like the majority of the people in the past. <laughs> Banning something has so many implications. Like, first you're following, you're empowering the state. Second of all, what's the history? of prohibition and is that is that ever successful <laughs> and when, when does that when does that not ever create a black market right, right. and more criminals <laughs> and more sure. crime and more violence like it just worsens the situation i mean the way i look at gmos right now is like a biological cul-de-sac right it's like you know we do make these let's say terminator genes uh terminator crops or um you know uh resistant to certain pesticides um, but I don't see something like that as being ecologically viable. Like I think it will self-destruct. I don't think it's going to propagate and like and like contaminate every single plant on Earth and like <laughs> destroy us all. I don't see that happening at all. Um, right. So yeah. So if, if something has to be created in the laboratory and then it gets released into the wild, I think it's just going to die of its own accord in the wild. <laughs> Nature is a pretty brutal, pretty brutal person. And I would go back to my other point about, um, you know, the threat of dying from radiation or climate change or global warming as being, you know, the threat of dying from GMO poisoning in that, you know, you are more likely to die <laughs> from an agent of the state <laughs> sure. from GMOs. So if you're really afraid for your life, you got to get some priorities straight, okay? Right. You should be yeah. an anarchist. I like to describe um, that I'm against statism and the belief in authority and not necessarily against the state and government because it doesn't sure. really exist. Like you said, like it's like saying I'm against the Tooth Fairy or Santa Claus uh, or the Easter Bunny, right? Um, it's just a belief. It's a belief that some people have the exemption to morality that other people do not, right? It's just men and women with guns forcing you to pay them, as Mark Stevens would say. And so I think we have to dispense with this idea that this is the government, you know, and this is us. This is we, That's the state and this is private individuals. No, they're just people believing that they have moral exemption, right? That right. they can steal and call it taxation. They can... They can uh, kidnap you and call it the war on drugs, right? They can murder people overseas and call it the war on terror. And for some reason, um, these political euphemisms um, are okay and acceptable when they say it. <laughs> See, if Coca-Cola poisons some people and then people like bring lawsuits against Coca-Cola and then Coca-Cola's court, <laughs> it was owned by Coca-Cola. The judge works for Coca-Cola. The lawyers... <laughs> yeah. The, the 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 bailiff the officers work for Coca Cola. Would you think that that's a, a, a an impartial system? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Talking about the police and courts, you know what it boils down to is is you don't really think that the police are necessary because what exactly do they do? Right? Supposedly they provide protection and security. Right? They don't they don't need to be part of the government to, pro to provide protection and security. You can get that sure. from other types of agencies and what does the court system do arbitrate disputes right dispute right. resolution you don't need to be part of the government to dispute <laughs> to arbitrate disputes right you can right. do that you can do that privately through an agencies and and it's all about incentives right if if, if somebody uh, relies on their paycheck on voluntary transaction and uh, and purchases then they're going to treat you different than if they're going to get paid no matter how they treat <laughs> how they treat sure. you when you make something 
um, that is um, by default, you know, mandatory payment, um, you're going to definitely get different behavior, right? That's just how humans act. That's how humans uh, react. Yeah, I love, I love the, uh, I love the, the memes. You know, you always see under the, <laughs> under, under the police brutality videos. You know, you, you always get one guy posting the meme of, uh, we conducted an internal investigation, <laughs> and we found ourselves to be innocent of any wrongdoing. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> that idea that, um, you know, the state is, um, is us. You know, it's just a, it's just a group of people getting together and getting things done doing things and it's a society it's a community of people um i get that all the time from uh, a lot of bernie supporters that idea that um you know the state is um is us you know it's just a it's just a group of people getting together and getting things done doing things and it's a, it's a society it's a community of people um i get that all the time from uh a lot of Bernie supporters, um, because a lot of leftists, they you know have this very uh, warm, fuzzy feeling mentality about the state. Like you know, like mm. you said, it's our protector, it's our mother, right. it's our father. It's just it's there. It keeps us safe. You know, it's like it's like a pillow. It's like a nice warm blanket. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps me safe. <laughs> sure, a nice warm blanket <laughs> with bombs and knives and guns underneath, but it it keeps you safe. I get from some people like that. They say, um, well, it's just like a condominium board. You know, it's like you're living in a, in a condo complex and and you're just paying rent, right? That's taxation. You see your rent, you know, for living in a condo complex and they're the board. <laughs> or, yeah. or or it's like a chess club. It's just like a chess club, you know? People are in charge of the chess club and people go to the chess club. That, that's all it is. And I'm like, so so are you saying that when, when condo um, associations uh, get into disputes with other condo associations, do they wage war and send their tanks and <laughs> drone bomb them? <laughs> or right. how about this? Do they print their own money and then force people to to pay in it and then devalue it? I tell sure. people, you want to improve the world, start with yourself. All right. Improve right. yourself. Make yourself a decent, moral, compassionate human being. Good point. And 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 then if you want to improve other people maybe yeah like you know spread your ideas and maybe have kids and raise them to be decent moral compassionate human beings that's how you improve the world right be the example show people how to live how you want you know treat your friends how you want to see the future treat your kids how you want to see the future right sure. and and if you need to to go to a ballot or to a uh, or to a voting booth and forcefully impose your beliefs onto somebody else because you couldn't do it voluntarily, then you're a failure. Sure. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> you know, you have failed as a human being if you think that that's the only way to enact change. 